Welcome back to Fox 21 Local News. Right now, what to downsize? A tiny home may be just what you're looking for. Well, this weekend, you can get a full education on the tiny house movement, which is sweeping the nation. And right now, Lauren McDonald, live and local, with a look at the Tiny People's House Festival. Tiny. <laughs> Not, not the tiny people. Just the people. The people's tiny house. <laughs> fest, sorry. The people, yeah. Taking place in Falcon <laughs> Stadium. They're small houses, not small people. <laughs> good morning. We got it. Hey, maybe. You never know. These things are good for anybody. Sure. And check it out, guys. We're about to blow your mind. Tiny houses, tiny living, but also big living. Yes. And I am here with Stacy Packer, one of the coordinators of the People's Tiny House Festival back in Colorado Springs. Funny story, it's my two-year anniversary, August 1st, my first week on the job here in Colorado Springs. This was one of my first assignments, coming to the Tiny House Festival, but back then it was known as the Tiny House Jamboree. That's correct. It's a little bit different. Yes. So the Jamboree left, went to Texas, and Marcus Alvarado, who worked the Jamboree, um, we knew that we needed to fit the mold and bring that back here to Colorado Springs. It's mm -hmm. a huge festival. People are very interested in it. So he rebranded it. It's the People's Tiny House Festival okay. at the Air Force Academy. And as you can see, we have lots of awesome tiny houses all from the country, different ones from all the way from Tennessee to California and all right. Colorado Springs as well. You're expecting over 1,500 uh, visitors this week at this festival. Um, no, we're hoping that we're going to have 20,000. 20,000? 30,000 okay. people this weekend. All right, we, wow. Yeah, we so sold that's even just 1,500 tickets yesterday alone. Okay, yeah, and you website. expect a lot of people to buy them at the door? We're hoping that people go on our website, mm -hmm. um, peoplestinyhousefestival.com, mm -hmm. and purchase them in advance, but they can come here to the gate and get them here as well. All right, and we talked about the tiny house movement. Kind of explain what that is and why it's it, people are so interested in it. So people these days, you know, they, they want to downgrade just a little bit, but they still want some luxury and, and some simple living at the same time. Mm -hmm. And these tiny houses fit that mold. They, um, they You can go from basic or you can go all the way up to just beautiful luxury at the same time. Yeah. And, and it's, this is a vast array, you know, array to see that. It's also a f more affordable. It's definitely more affordable. You're not going to be paying your mortgage off your whole entire that's life. That's correct. That's correct. Right? Yes. Less is more, at least this morning. Yes, that's correct. All right, so we're going to actually see inside some of these tiny houses. Yes, you are. Later today. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk to some builders. You, you are. guys are actually going to have speakers. So if people don't know anything about tiny living or, or what it entails, they're going to learn all about it here this week. They are. We have a great lineup of speakers, um, and not just about the tiny house itself, but how it impacts community, how it impacts um, homeless people. There's a lot of different things that this actually helps that people don't even realize. Very nice. All right. I cannot wait, guys. Tiny living. Maybe it's for me. Got to get rid of all of my clothes first, though. Uh, yeah. It's a closet for you. I was going to say, Lauren would need one tiny house for her <laughs> and one tiny house just for her clothes. Right. Okay. Good yeah. stuff. The People's Tiny House Festival. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. 544 right now. Let's go ahead and toss it back over to meteorologist Dee Cortez. Who Good morning. Like an itty bitty seed. These homes are tiny. Indeed, coming up after the break, we're looking at tumbleweed tiny homes live and local on Fox 21 Local News right now. 624, welcome back to Fox 21 Local News right now. What to downsize? Well, a tiny home may be just what you're looking for. This weekend, you can get a full education on the tiny house movement, which is sweeping the nation. And right now, Lauren is live and local with a look at the People's Tiny House Festival taking place in Falcon Stadium. Lauren, good morning. Tiny lamps and tiny ants. That's all I can find in here. However, let me tell you something. The tiny house movement, check it out, guys. Can you imagine if this was my house? Would you come visit me? Lovely. Of course. We've got the bed. We've got the stairs. We've got the fridge. We've got the bathroom the or fridge. a closet. <laughs> Not big enough for me. But let me tell you something. The tiny house movement, it has arrived, and we are live and local checking it out. Festival. This is for the people, and you are invited. Over 30,000 people expected this weekend. We got Stacy here, and we got my good neighbor over here. She is my new next door neighbor, Angie. I'm coming over. How's it going, my friend? It's good, it's good. Oh my gosh, we're so glad to have you. Yes, the tiny house movement. Here we are. Now, your house. 
Your house is a lot bigger than mine, right? Yes. <laughs> I love that. So this is Tumbleweed Tiny Houses. Yes, this is Tumbleweed Tiny Houses owned by Steve Wiseman and local here in Colorado Springs. So the People's Tiny House Festival today, tomorrow, and Sunday, people can come out and get a taste of what it's like to live small, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. you actually are Tiny House America. Yes. So explain to everybody what that is. Um, my husband and I, um, we decided about five years ago to um, take our big house that we had in Dallas, Texas, and we moved to Oregon to live a simple, tiny life. <laughs> there you go. There you go. One question for you. What do you do when you get agitated and you got to get away? Because I will say there's not really a lot of places to go. Well, we had a, a garden, uh -huh. um, and so I spent a lot of time out in my garden. Okay. Um, you just you find other activities to do. You know, within Stress your relief? Within, within your community. Yeah. You know what I love about all of these tiny houses? They're so, like, mod. They're yes. so posh. Yes. Yes, so absolutely. Your tiny you said you actually live in Oregon? We live in Oregon. Okay. And um, we actually ended up what we ended up doing was we actually bought an old motorhome, gutted it and renovated it. Mm -hmm. And so we are actually now in the transition of buying a coach bus and oh. we're going to be transitioning into a coach bus. So you're up Sizing. We're upsizing. We have two children. Downsizing, then upsizing a little bit. Yes. yes all right. Yes. Very nice. Well, I cannot wait to learn all about tiny houses all morning long. You guys can do the same this weekend at the People's Tiny House Festival right here near Falcon Stadium. Make sure you get your tickets in advance. $15 per person. That's for all three days. If you get them in advance, they are $25 at the door. I want to show you something. This is a Pinterest lover's dream in here. We got the coffee. We got the oregano. Not sure what that is. We got a little turmeric, little something, little something else, maybe a little cinnamon. Man, you guys are so smart. You have to get creative. You have to get creative. Got to get creative space. with the space. You have make to use it and you, you go vertical. Make the most of these spaces, folks. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. I don't know the rest of the words, but I'm feeling it this morning. I, I can think tell. They're, they're so quaint. They're so cute, they're right? They're very cute. But it Aren't just, they? It's Let impressive the how much they Pitch pack into everything. There's a lot and of stuff the in there, yeah. And your seat. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's start, a good saying. She's going to start taking uh, stuff yeah. out of there. <laughs> All right, Lauren. <laughs> thanks. I'm going to have to snatch that. <laughs> thanks. All right, 628 right now. Well, French wine drink. The houses may be tiny, but this festival is anything but small, so bring all the people! It's going to be a ball! We are live and local for the People's Tiny House Festival happening right now in the Pikes Peak region. We will see you coming up after the break. Now, tiny houses are part of a large movement towards simple living, and the People's International Tiny House Fest is here, and this morning we're getting a preview. Yes, right now, Laura McDonald is live and local at Falcon Stadium now with a giant look at tiny living. Lauren, good morning. What you got? Mi casa is wee <laughs> casa, but let me tell you something. It is so cute. Look at this beautiful living. I'll tell you what, you might be living small, but you are also living large. We are talking about the tiny house movement. Guess what? It is here, folks, in the Pikes Peak region today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And guess what? You can get a ticket to learn all about tiny and small living spaces and there's different sizes so here right now with Marcus one of the organize, organizers of this event uh, this is a smaller tiny house right correct but they come even smaller than this absolutely I mean this one is 98 square feet uh-huh um, this is made by Rocky Mountain tiny homes right wow. here so, yeah right here locally yeah in Colorado but they absolutely come smaller you can be up to actually 40 square feet right think about that think about living that's that's sustainable living space. Exactly. And talk right. about the sustainable living part, because that's a big part of, of this whole entire movement. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So the biggest thing here is this is more than just a tiny house movement. This is a sustainability movement. Like you said, Lauren, uh -huh. um, the biggest thing here is a lot of millennials really seeing baby, boomer, baby boomers go through what they're having to pay for their mortgage, 3,000 right? square foot house. Mm -hmm. This is something where it's moving towards a more sustainable, environmentally f smaller footprint. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's who wants a big mortgage? Not me. Right. Who can afford a big mortgage these days? <laughs> Not me. I don't know many people who can. Let me tell you something. Living off the land, that fridge is small, but you know what? A lot of people that do this, they have a garden outside. 
we were talking to Angie earlier. She said she has a garden. So there's ways that you can make it work, right? Absolutely. Every every square foot of this house has a purpose. Unlike most houses, where there's a lot of open space, you got that mm -hmm. second living room, uh, that second dining room, all this open space. Every square foot of this house has a purpose to it. Yeah. And that's what it's all about is getting no your time back, space. redefining that American dream mm -hmm. of not paying off a large mortgage and having more time to yourself. You got a fireplace here. You've got closets in the steps. You got drawers. You have an ironing board or an iron. A little bit of hair dryer. You have the, the toilet. Correct. Now most of these I would assume septic tank. Yeah, so some of them are fitted with septic. Most of them are actually composting toilets. Uh -huh. So, yep, they're not going to use any real liquid to them. Okay. Yeah, they're completely dry. Let's yeah. see. All right, there you go. Everything in here, guys, is so little, little bitty. <laughs> little cheese grater. You know what? The only advice I have for you is if you do plan on moving into a tiny house, make sure you don't cut the cheese because you're going to have to open all the windows. It's small in here. Want to make sure we keep it fresh, right? Close living spaces for sure. Yeah. Yes. You get real friendly. We had Angie on earlier. She has a full family that she lived in a small right. space with. I mean, instead of slamming the door, they slam the curtain. That's really right. all the space that you have on these double lofts. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's real close quarters. Real getting real friendly with everybody that you're living with. You heard it here first. Yep. <laughs> if you learn one thing from today's Just show, kidding. don't cut the cheese in a small tiny <laughs> no, house. But it's a very, yeah, you can grate the cheese, just don't cut the cheese. <laughs> she, she's stealing that she's, she's a, She likes the accessories more than she likes the house. She, this is why Lauren can't live in a tiny house, because she has all these accessories. Hey! Hey, you! Are you sick of living ordinary? Well, why don't you come check out all these tiny houses on the prairie? We are live and local at the People's Tiny House festival happening right now in the Pikes Peak region. We will see you guys coming up after the break. Looking to downsize, a tiny home may be just what you need. Well, this weekend you can get a full education of the tiny house movement, which is sweeping across the nation. And right now, Lauren is live and local with a look at the People's Tiny House Festival taking place in yes, Falcon Stadium. Lauren, oh, no. good morning. <laughs> Just call me the tiny house honey, because let me tell you something, I am sold, right? I love these tiny houses, and let me tell you something, tiny houses are, I can't think of a word with an H, they're wonderful, they want to make me want to yell hooray, right? So we are here with Marcus right now, you're one of the organizers of this event, you guys have been working so hard to put this tiny festival on, you're going to have up to 30 tiny houses. Correct. Here at the Air Force Academy. Right. So, yeah, we're going to have over 30 tiny house builders come and display their models, and we're going to have some DIYers here as well with our camper vans, schoolies, so converted school buses. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're going to have into all stacks of simple living. Yep. Schoolies. I like that. I'm going to yeah. have to look into that. Now, actually, one of the tiny houses is getting delivered right now. That's the really cool thing about these tiny houses. Uh, people can, like, move locations if they want to, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's all about getting your time back and traveling and doing where you doing what you want to do on your own terms, right? So, yeah. I mean, if it means moving your house to a different location, living off grid, you can do all those with these models. Mm -hmm. And this weekend, let's walk and talk because I want everybody to be able to see all the different kind of houses that you guys have here. And this is just, just a few. I mean, you have a lot more coming this morning that are going to be here by right. 11 o'clock, right? Correct, yeah. So we're going to have probably about another 15 come this morning. Mm -hmm. And most of our DIYers will come here this morning as well. They'll be there at the front gate. So right when people walk in the, the grounds, first thing they'll see is the DIYers, the do-it-yourselfers. Sure. And then they'll come in the main grounds and see the builds. Um, and then now, they'll have the stage as well. DIYer. Now, I, you know, I sometimes I'll get on Pinterest here and there and I'll try to DIY it. I don't think I can DIY. I think it's a different type of DIY. I mean, you guys are going to have seminars. You're going to have a lot of different things happening here this weekend at the festival. Right, yeah. So we're going to have a lot of, lot of dialogue and panels around hot topics, questions around the movement, questions that people want answered. We're going to have that and just have that dialed in for panel discussions. Hot topics, yeah. hot tips, tiny houses. It is going to be a festival that you want to to come to. It's for the people, right? Absolutely. And yeah. talk about the food vendors. You said you really want this to have a lasting impact on Colorado Springs. Right. So we are really focused on having a long-lasting impact. Like you said, Lauren, um, most of these vendors are from Colorado Springs. 
We want this to be a little bit of a flavor of Colorado Springs, taste of Colorado Springs, if you will. So we have a lot of local food vendors who are here. La Casita, obviously a, a local favorite for uh, Mexican food, um, and Shortstop Burgers, who's been around here for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. So we really want to make it a flavor of Colorado Springs, make it something that we can you know, having a hold of the city, give it you a little bit music. of flavor. Absolutely. So we'll have local music as well. So we'll have Austin Young Band playing on Sunday to close out the night. We'll have Wirewood Station tonight, which is one of the best of the springs. And then we'll have Heartstring Hunters from Boulder. So I yeah. I love it. Yeah. And you are giving away a tiny stay. We're running out of time, but tell everybody really quick how they can get involved with that. Right. So anybody who pre registers online is eligible to win a, a one night stay at We Casa in Lyons, which is one of the largest tiny house hotels. So we're excited about that as well. Very nice. Yeah. I'm sorry I got a little distracted. I yeah. didn't want him to go into that tiny house. <laughs> Guys, we are going to be touring more tiny spotter. homes coming up after the break. Actually, I think we're going to get a look at this one parking right now. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's I like, like Tetris it. on the home. It's kind of yeah. Place. yeah. It's impressive. One Learn. question. Okay, go ahead. Where is Tiny Tina when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a good question. Where is Tiny Tina? Right? Well, we'll find her. <laughs> It's like a mansion for Tiny Tina. That's right. All right, 727 right now. Well, with $10 million on the... That's right. Good morning, everybody. It's a small world, but we are living large, live and local here at the People's Tiny House Festival, giving you a preview. That's coming up after the break. 742, welcome back to Fox 21 Local News. Right now, tiny houses are part of a large movement towards simple living. And the People's International Tiny House Fest is here in town. And this morning, we're getting a preview. Yes, and right now, Laura McDonald is live and local now at Falcon Stadium with a giant look at tiny living. Lauren, good morning. Living little. I am loving it, and you will too. That's why you need to come out here to the People's Tiny House Festival. It is happening right now and goes through the weekend right here at the Air Force Academy, right across from Falcon Stadium. So I am here with now with two brothers. We've got Toby and we've got Gabe, and they have built this tiny home. But, Toby, you tell me that you guys didn't start building tiny homes. That's not really how you got started in the, the remodeling and building industry, right? Uh, no, Gabe and I are licensed arborists in the city of Denver. We do a lot of tree removal and service and care. We would build fences and build right. playgrounds for the Montessori's of Denver. So you said, you know what, let's give tiny house, well, tiny house living a go, or not living, but building a go. So this is your first tiny home that you've built. It is. Uh, we, we, we just want to be recognized as a, a quality builder where, okay. where things are going to last when we build them. Uh -huh. We don't want it to be ticky tacky or fall apart as it ages. N ticky tacky is no good. Are we, can we go inside? Please feel free. So, so it's kind of like a, uh, Upscale tiny home. If this you is. Will. Uh, we wanted to, you to feel as though you're just in home. It doesn't need to feel like you're in a uh, trailer or in sort of a beach house. We didn't try to do any. Uh, yeah. Uh, genre. I like this. Uh, we wanted it to feel like home. I am feeling like Chip and Joanna. Gaines uh, designed this. This is so nice. I love the colors and uh, all of the appliances. Thank you. Upgraded. Yeah. We have a full size bathroom. Uh, all the tiles real. There's no particle board, no laminates, mm -hmm. no plastics in our construction. We didn't use any nails in the build of this. Everything right. is screwed. As I said, the floors we purpose is a one of a kind alder flooring. Right. A one of a kind bristlecone siding. This is a single tree right. that we milled into this. So you think about uh, your typical house for a family, and then you think about this, which a family could live in this, right? A small family. Small family. So, so what is like the price difference, just just on average, not specifically this this home, but on average? Uh, it, it varies just as much as a, a manufactured home. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, we we use a lot of really high quality materials. Sure. And that way we assure something that's going to last forever, right? as long as possible. We don't want you to have to service this thing. We want it to be able to be out in the middle of nowhere for the right. next 30 years and exactly. not need service. Uh, so the having it a... It just depends. It just depends. So there's like a large scale, but it's a lot smaller scale than if you were to purchase a big home, Correct. right? Yes. You're not going to be paying off your mortgage your entire life. Correct. Uh, this this model is, is for sale at 90000 mm -hmm. and uh, with, uh, with that comes... Uh, Obviously, a lot of quality. We have a six gallon per minute water heater, a uh, sure. Renai. We have a washer dryer unit under the landing there where uh, the cameraman's standing. Okay. We tried to make sure everything is really comfortable in here. Uh, there's no squeaks in our floor. Uh huh. <laughs> As I, said, I know. It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. You've got your little succulents here in the window. Everything Even, uh, looks perfect. A lot of the ceramics are made by my wife and I in our pottery studio. In wow. Our, in there you it's go. So, adding well. that personal touch. And I got to tell you guys. 
they've all taken their shoes <laughs> off. I used to have to take my shoes off at home. I feel so bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. Sean, take your shoes off. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you think I've got matching socks today. A lot of traffic in here. We'll wear out the floor. Yeah. All right, guys. So make sure you come check out uh, Toby and his brother Gabe at the Tiny House Festival happening this weekend right here at the Air Force Academy. Get your tickets. $15 for three days. $25 if you buy them at the door. You can get tickets online for $15 at peoplestinyhousefestival.com. Better do it. <laughs> and take your shoes take off. Take your shoes off. Yeah, get out. There you go. That was a nice tiny Thank house. You. Very nice. Yes. Very nice house. Beautiful. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good morning. The People's Tiny House Festival is happening right now in the Pikes Peak region. And if you're looking for a permanent pot to in, well, don't worry. We have you covered. We are live and local. Coming up, we're going to tell you about a house that doesn't stink. Tiny home may be just what you're looking for. So this weekend, you can get a full education now on the tiny house movement, which is sweeping the nation. And right now, Laura McDonald, live and local, with a look at the People's Tiny House Festival taking place. That five minutes? In Falcon Stadium. This does not look like a house to me. No, Laura, where Laura. are you? <laughs> you two, you two are looking at a porta potty, right? Yeah. But I want to show you right now a porta pate. <laughs> this is the porta pate. Okay? Sounds We fancy. are talking about <laughs> Tiny House Festival happening right now. It's for the people. So bring yourself, bring your friends, bring the kids, bring everybody. We are hanging out right here uh, across from Falcon Stadium at the Air Force Academy, the People's Tiny House Festival. And right now we are in a very special home. My friend TK, this is the backyard home. Right? That you've designed? Yes, this is. Very yes. nice. Okay, so before we get into the house, I want you to tell everybody your story because you have a wild story. Okay? Okay, I do, yeah. Um, I've lived intentionally for the better part of five years. Mm -hmm. um, closing in on six now. Haven't paid rent since December of 2012. Exactly. Um, through a variety of kind of unusual living spaces. I downsized in 2012 and I moved into my office, so I lived uh -huh. in there for a little while. Slept under your desk at your office. For almost two years. Yeah, a year and a half or so. And nobody found out? No. no How did secret. you do it? That is well, so crazy. Yeah, one's got to pay attention to details in a situation like that. Uh huh. Um, but uh, over time, that ran its course too, and I built a tiny house in the back of my truck. Okay. Um, lived the kind of van life for a while. Right. Which is when I got to travel around. I came back to the city, picked up a couple of part time jobs, haven't worked a full time job since. There you go. Yeah. I love it. You are living the American <laughs> dream, literally. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this tiny house concept that you have. This is, this is called your backyard house, right? Made out of porta potty material. Absolutely. This is a brand new wheelchair accessible Wheel Care 3 from Polyjohn. And we retrofitted it as a tiny living space. So you can see inside there right now, there's a space to sit and work and eat and a Murphy bed that folds down, mm -hmm. which at its longest dimensions is wider and longer than a twin bed, which wow. means it can sleep too. Okay, there you go. So you know what? There is room for two. You, you have an actual porta potty. This is your porta potty. It's also your shower. Yes, this actually came from the factory as a shower. So okay. they make these units as showers. It looks like a traditional porta potty, but we um, installed a composting toilet here. Mm -hmm. It's called an earth auger, um, which takes the waste horizontally away, which gives it a couple months to break down. So by the time it's done, it's paper waste and there's no odor, which is fantastic. And Very we've also nice. got a low flow shower mm -hmm. and our gray water pumps up to the rooftop garden to irrigate that, right. grows plants and vegetables. And you, you also have a really cool part of your story is that for every five of these that you build, you want to build one to give back to the community, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a five for one model. Yeah. Um, that way we can build uh, cheapest versions of this for our charity to house homeless college students starting in Los Angeles and hopefully expanding beyond. Very nice. I'll tell you what, I take it. I love it, especially in the backyard. Porta potties, porta potes have never <laughs> looked better. Thank you so much for your time. You oh. have the coolest story ever. Give me five. There it is. Hey, Craig, you think that you could live under your desk at Fox 21? Live under the desk? Yeah. Really? No. I can barely sit in my chair at my desk. <laughs> no. All right. Hey.
Whether you are looking for a compact cottage, a little lodge, or even a tiny tavern, they have it all here at the People's Tiny House Festival. It's happening right now. We are giving you a live and local preview. That's coming up after the break. Of a large movement towards simple living <laughs> and the People's International Tiny House Fest is here and this morning we're getting a preview and sneak peek at all the tiny houses. She likes the hose, likes all the little, little accessories too <laughs> to go with them. So right now, Laura McDonald live and local at Falcon Stadium on the Academy with a giant look at tiny living. Lauren, what's up next? Small yet spacious. <laughs> Far from ostentatious. But it is bodacious. We are talking about <laughs> tiny homes here at the People's Tiny House Festival. Oh, give me a home without a huge loan. It's what I want. It's what you want. You need to come on down here to the Air Force Academy this weekend because the People's Tiny House Festival happening right now. And we're taking a peek at another tiny home. So we have Tucker and Brian here. You guys built this tiny home. Yes. You're brothers and you're actually local to Colorado. Yes. It's out of Castle Rock. Okay, cool. So, so tell me about this house. It's beautiful. So this is a 24-foot home. We have two lofts, two sleeping lofts here. Oh, okay. Um, we've got a full-size range, nice big appliances, a big kind of open space here, lots mm -hmm. of counter space, um, nice big picture window in the back here. Sure. I love it. And, and like I said, it is small, but it does feel so open, so spacious. Right. That's what we went for with this yeah. design. The windows open. probably help with that too, the large windows. For sure. Having the light in here is really the nice. The light colors, absolutely. Okay, so do you guys live tiny? No, we don't. You don't? Nope. You just want just build. people to. Right. Yes. So, we, would, we would love to. It's a matter of finding a place to, you know, we're all trying to find a place to put them. And right, exactly. And that's pretty much uh, one of the main, um, you know, problems that people have when they do get a tiny home, right? right. The, the space to put it. Yeah, that's that's definitely a concern. People are trying to find where it's legal to put them and you mm -hmm. know there's some developments popping up so we're excited right. about that. So what would you tell someone that is thinking about uh, going tiny and making the tiny movement? Because it is not for everybody, right? Right. I mean, I would say come out and look at them for sure. You know, mm -hmm. it's one thing to watch them on TV, you see the shows, but to come out and see them and see what it's like to be inside one and see if you it would work for you, see the uh -huh. space. Um, so come talk to us, you know, we can design something that will right. work for your lifestyles. So. Right. Now you guys seem pretty young. You're college friends. Yes. Right. Did you start this out of college? No. We started it. I was actually living in New York at the time. I saw that Brian here was building one and I decided I wanted to do it. So. Jumping on board. Yeah. Now you both are living the tiny house American dream. Absolutely. Right. Making uh, houses for everyone that wants to go tiny. So as we said, Tiny House Festival happening this weekend. We're going to come out here and talk to Marcus one more time. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Your home is beautiful. Beautiful. Marcus, let's okay. get all the details for the Tiny House Festival. Awesome. I'm ready for you guys right now. So three days this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Tickets online are $15. At the door, they're $25 for all three days. $15 a day at the door. So get them online if you can. Come out to the Tiny House Festival, the People's Tiny House Festival, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. Lots music, of vendors, music. Music, beer, local vendors. We're going to have builders from all across the country coming to display their models and lots of DIYers as well. So it's going to be fun. A festival for the people. That means you are invited. Make sure you guys get out here to the People's Tiny House Festival. Again, the Air Force Academy happening today, 11 a.m. Things kick off. Uh, you can come buy a ticket for 15 bucks, as Marcus said. So 15 bucks for three days. You can't beat that. Absolutely. We're excited about it, guys. This is going to be great for the Springs. We're real excited about it. Tiny the House is giving us all a big time here this weekend. For now, we'll toss back to you, Abby. Lauren, thank you so much.